Australia to get such kind of world-class pieces of art. We're coming to check it out on its last day before it leaves our shores, which is such a shame. But yeah, we're here to get our culture on. Uh, well, it comes to a natural conclusion on the 2nd of December, but um, sadly this is only Series 3 and there's meant to be three others and there won't be any more coming from MoMA unfortunately due to uh, high insurance costs. So this is Anna Zborowska painted by Amadeo Modigliani in the early 20th century. Um, this is one of my favourite paintings in the whole world. I think it's really dangerous to underestimate the importance of creativity to a city. You, know, you look at all the great cities around this world, they are all steeped in art and architecture and design and history and they all place enormous emphasis on the importance of creativity and that's what makes them vibrant and beautiful places and they are the kinds of places that attract brilliant people. What do you say to people that claim that Perth comes from the wasteland? Cock of shit really. This whole series of art is a testament to the fact that we do get some pretty awesome things here in Perth and I think people really need to kind of change their views on that. These guys are like the rock stars of the art world. This is like a giant festival, just one great star playing off the other. Art is one of those things that can lift people above their station and want more, and create more and understand more. If you want to see works like this, at great quality like this, you're going to have to fly to New York. I don't know, return ticket is about $2,000, $1,600 on a best day, and tickets to see this for only $19. Developments in Perth over the last five years, and I felt like this was um, all part of it. You can do the same thing as everyone else, but what these artists did, what we can do in Perth, is break down what it means that we're actually creating and try and do our own way, do it differently. If I took every member of our staff over in New York to see this one, it cost us over three hundred thousand dollars. We've got it right here, and I think yeah, grabbing this last opportunity to see it before it goes is really, really important.